Hello everyone and welcome back to another video looking at Power BI. So in today's video, we're going to look at how we can connect to and get data from a web page. So for us, I've got a simple example here, what I'm going to now bring on the screen. And you can see it's just a population table, what's available through Wikipedia. So you could use this same URL yourself uh, so that you can try at home to make sure you're comfortable how it's working. But obviously alternatively, any other website you want to use then you can obviously utilize this same method as well. Uh, one thing just to make clear is in this example, we're be going to be connecting to an HTML table, uh, what's obviously available on this web page you can see here. So obviously, depending on what data you're trying to pull in, you might it might be more complex or the same as what we're looking at today. So that's just one thing to bear in mind as well. So all we need to do is just copy this uh, URL path. So I'm just going to do Control A and copy that, move that to the side. And then I'm simply going to go into get data and go into web. So you can see, oh, I've already clicked it already. But if I hover over web, we can see the option is to import data from a web page. So if we click that, then we'll get an option that pops up here. So simply all this is asking us for is our URL path. I'm going to enter there. You do have advanced options available to you, but we're going to keep this very basic and just stick with all the basic options for the purpose of this video. By clicking OK, um, what Power BI is going to do is it's obviously going to look at that connection and try and, and obviously and establish a connection to make sure it's obviously all working. And then this navigator, once it's loaded, will display to us all of the available data sources that it has found on that web page. So primarily it's going to be focusing at looking at tables, so HTML tables available to us. If we want to navigate through and just see what we're looking at, we can obviously select one of these tables, identify if it's the information that we need, and then obviously if not, we can then move on to more tables. Uh, but I know for however, that we want to go look at HTML tables, and we can see the first one that's clearly defined as a HTML table is this um, desired table we have here. So we can see we've got our rank, country, population, which does match entirely with what we had here in our browser. So we can move that to the side once again. And all I'm going to do now is simply click on load. And what that will do is Power BI will now import that data into our dashboard. Uh, the benefit of obviously connecting to the data in this manner is if that was a table that's going to get updated regularly, maybe it's daily, weekly, or whatever it is, it always ensures that once that table is updated and we refresh our data, the new data is going to be populated into our dashboard. So it just saves us the hassle of obviously saving something to Excel, connecting to that Excel, which is obviously only going to be updated once we ourselves go to update that data. So to put that in short, our data is now lively connect or has a live connection with its source. And we can now just play around this as we desire. So if we wanted to create or recreate that basic table, we could simply put a table into our display and we can then bring all our fields in. So we go rank, country, population. And you'll see that they've been populated in here for us as well. So if we just make that bigger and for some reason rank, although it is, if we not put it into rank order. So if we go into rank like so, or it's got the highest, the lowest, Ah, so our data needs a bit of playing around with, but we can see what we have available to us. And obviously using population here, we can then go through and identify the population for each country. And alternatively, what we could do here as well, let's say we wanted to move that to the side over here and let's just bring a visual, uh, not a visual, a slicer. So maybe we want, want to put country into our slicer field over here. And let's say again, we've got only a few areas of interest. Maybe we only want to look at, uh, let's go into the uh, United States, maybe the United, ah, let's enable. So what we need to do here, I want to select multiple countries. Um, well, let's step back a minute. We can see by selecting the United Kingdom, we've now got the United Kingdom, what its rank is, and what the total population is for the United Kingdom as well. Um, or if I go to the United States, we can get that as well. Because I want to get um, be able to select multiple values, if we didn't know this already, all we need to simply do with our slicer once selected is go down into selection controls with using the uh, paint roller icon here. And we can do multiple select is on and let's go, let's turn that off. So we should now be able to do multiple selection. Yep, we have indeed. So let's go back down to where was it? Let's go United Kingdom, United States. Um, what's some other um, randomly selected options we can do? Uh, let's go for, I can't even think my mind's gone blank now. Let's say we're going to go for India, 
Indonesia, Hong Kong, uh, and maybe Greece. Just to click the first few that I saw. And we can now bring into this a graph. So let's go for a simple bar chart. Uh, just click in. And it's obviously disappeared somewhere. Let's try that again. Yep, there it is, the bar chart. And now we can bring country into our axis, population into our values. And we've now simply created a nice, well, not maybe a nice, we might again want to do a bit more work to it, but we've created a simple chart from that data on the web. So point being, we've connected to data on the web and we're now able to build a dashboard or combine that data with other uh, information and detail we have within our dashboard. So if you found the video useful, please don't forget to give the video a like. It not only shows me more content that you'd be interested in seeing, but also it does help that all important YouTube algorithm to ensure uh, more people searching for such questions like this are able to find this video. And if it's the first time you've come across the channel or you've watched our videos in the past, please do ensure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification button. That way you'll be notified of all of our future videos as and when they come out. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.